what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here hit that sub button so in today's video I'm gonna try to see if I can get this taken somewhere to get it welded um, it's gonna be two four five spots welded so I want to see if I can try to get this welded by the end of the weekend now I can slap it back on the bike you know do all my fittings and stuff all my gas lines um another thing is exhaust i'm gonna probably focus on exhaust in this video and um just touching up stuff here and there like brake levers uh clutch line i gotta bleed so basically some you know last final things that need to be done so so i'm gonna take this gas tank see what they what the price is and i'll be right back All right, guys, so I did not take the tank yet to get um, an estimate on how much that's gonna cost. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna focus on the caliper and um, the clutch, bleeding the clutch. So let me do this real quick. See, um, I got these, I got these spacers. Let me throw these spacers on real quick and see uh, what's up. All right, guys, so this is um, three fourths um i'm probably gonna need like a half an inch or a quarter inch because you can see that it's not a really big gap but this this won't fit in here so um probably gonna get like two or three washers let's see if i have some washers I don't think I have washers that big, so I'm gonna have to end up getting some washers, um, like three for each or four for each. Um, not gonna mess around with this. I'm gonna grab some uh, fluid, open this up, start pouring some fluid. Make sure it's tight down there so it doesn't leak. Um, but let me do this real quick, and I will be right back. All right, guys. Um, you can see the fluids in there. I bled it. It should be good. I also have to bleed it again once the bike is on. I don't know if it's like this for other bikes, but whenever I um, take my clutch line off and put it back on, I have to bleed it while the bike is on because it won't actually catch. So I don't know if it's the same for other bikes, but yeah, so it's bled. Gotta get these washers for the caliper and then pretty much tank tomorrow washers probably gonna get them washers tomorrow and just I guess finish tidying this bike up see I gotta get some uh, mounts or like spacers or washers or something because I don't want the I don't want the seat to just sit right here because you can see the springs are gonna ruin the paint so I need to find something that's I'm gonna go to Lowe's tomorrow and see what I can find. That's another thing. The exhaust, I'm, try, I'm gonna try to grind, measure them, order the baffles. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning. Day two. All right, guys. So, I'm gonna take these uh, heat shields off. I gotta get these uh, Phillips out. This one's almost out. Um, if it's rusted shut and you guys are doing this, um, just grab a hammer hit it up here make sure you got the right screwdriver in you know the right screwdriver because if you don't you're gonna strip the threads so like this one right here I'm gonna hit it with the hammer up here and I'm gonna hit it until it like loosens it all that rust so let me do this real quick I'll be right back so just like that and it's coming off This is trash. Toss this that way. All right, guys. So got this all bare. Grind this little spot right here, because you can see that's where somebody welded it. And 
and it looks crazy. I may not go too crazy on this because I might end up making a hole. So I'm just gonna grind this stuff down. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is just wrap it. I'm gonna use some uh, heat wrap from like AutoZone or Events. Wrap the whole exhaust, maybe up to like here and just paint this black. Um, we'll see. All right guys, second one's off. I'm um, probably gonna have to grind this little piece right here. All right guys, it's the next day. All right, so I took the tank to get welded. They gave me a price, it was a little high. So I'm probably gonna do it next weekend. Funds are a little low, so. Um, but I got this seat on. Um, I got the idea from my 600 uh, Shadow, that one. Um, it had these bolts coming up. I'll show you real quick. That, this is, I, I had it before where it was actually just mounted straight up. So I want the um, flexibility of being able to like, you know, open it up, you know, in case I have to put something underneath here. Um, but so there's a bolt coming through the bottom up and then a, a washer and then these two um, nuts. These are the, the nuts that have like that rubber piece inside. I, I forgot what it's called. I think it's like the, I don't know what it's called, I forgot. Um, but it has these two. So I tightened the bottom one up as tight as I could, <clears throat> then screwed the top one on, and then I held the bottom one and tightened the top one a little bit more. So, so the seat's pretty much all set. Um, it's kind of rusty. I'll just clean that up later on. But you can see, seat comes down. And it's loose up here, so yeah. But for today, I'm gonna start working on the exhaust again. Um, the tank, I'm gonna push it off, push it off to the side, and we'll start working on the exhaust, grinding these down, um, cleaning up the paint, and all that stuff. Hopefully, by the end of the video, it's on the bike. Um, so yeah, let me get to this. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So. I just thought to myself, I'm going to heat wrap this exhaust. I don't know why I'm going to sand this down. So what I'm going to do is actually, I ordered two heat wraps. It should be coming in a few days. I've ordered on Amazon. Um, the only spot I'm going to leave um, unwrapped is from like here to the tip. Sand all this, tape it from here on and just um, paint this like black or something. Um, I have to measure this end so I can get my uh, baffles. So if you got one of these, you guys can just open it up. I would say 160. Later that same evening. All right guys, so the baffles came in and the wraps came in for the exhaust. Um, came in a little late, so I'm probably gonna have to do this tomorrow gonna show you guys the wraps comes with the clips bam and these are the supposedly the baffles but they fit so I have a tool that stretches this out a bit so I'm gonna end up stretching it probably about an inch or so stretch it out be able to just push it in there take the screw off and I'm guessing this screw right here I guess that's to make it like louder or something um, so when I get the bike running and stuff I'll, I'll test it out either way um, with that piece off that's inside and with it on so yeah guys I'm gonna see you guys in the morning all right guys so it's the next day I sanded the exhausts off camera. Um, I'm gonna try to get the tool that I have that it will extend this out a little bit because these are not really fitting. I have to get like a bucket of water. You're supposed to do this wet so that the fiberglass from the wraps doesn't you know, irritate your hand or you can do it dry with a glove but they say it's best to do it wet. So let me find this tool real quick and then I'm gonna stretch these out and I'll be right back. All right guys, so no luck. The tool I was looking for, this is the tool I'm looking for.
but it's a small size. This is for like two inches and up. So it, it won't fit. So, but for now, let me just throw in this wrap. So let me um, set this up somewhere and I'll, I'll time lapse. All right guys, so I got them all set. Um, if you guys end up getting these from the link down below um, on Amazon, they, they'll they come with like six of these. Each box will come with like six. I ordered two. So um, if you guys do them, you wanna do them this way. So make sure this piece right here, if you can see that, make sure that piece is facing in. So what I did was I I did it the wrong way first, which it was uh, this way right here. You can see the metal is sticking up. So you're supposed to do it this way. It actually ends up tightening itself. I was trying to figure out how does it like, you know, clamp itself. So when you do it this way, let me show you by taking this one off real quick. Cause I'm gonna have to replace that one. I don't wanna end up cutting myself tip and put this camera down so you can see this is up we're gonna go like this and in slide it I want to slide it all the way keep sliding and what I usually do is since it's out on this side I'll grab it from this side and I'll just pull you can grab vice grips pliers and just pull it this way and just pull it with the, the pliers this way, down and under, and you'll get it tighter. And then you just go snip this piece and then tuck it inside, and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna let them dry off. Um, they kind of like messed up my fingers, even with the water. So the fibers are like sticking up. So I'm gonna let this dry here. Later that same evening. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to grind this down. Um, get some of the paint off. I think it'll slide on the exhaust with the paint being off. You can see I tried to do it and took some of the paint off. Let me sand this piece down and I'll be back. All right guys, so I got the baffle in. Um, I kind of messed up. I drilled um, a little too far up, um, but the screws in, everything's straight. Let me just finish up the other side. And then tomorrow I'm gonna paint from here to here. All right guys, so I got this other baffle in. This one, it was a lot of, a lot cleaner. So, got the screw in there. So what I did was, I, um, I put the baffle in, uh, screwed the smallest bit, not ruining the threads on the baffle. Made sure it screwed all the way in. Then I pushed the baffle all the way in deeper. And then I went with a little bit bigger of a bit and made the, the hole bigger and then, um, pushed the baffle back and just screwed it in. So yeah guys, I'm gonna let these dry and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so I got two choices here. Gloss clear, um, black, heat up to 500 degrees, or this VHT engine enamel up to 550. Um, and I think it's flat, but this looks kind of flat as well. So I'm probably gonna use this. There's a lot more of this. So I'm gonna use this, shake it up. Hopefully I don't need no primer cause there's no primer. So I'm just gonna alofocate. All right guys, so that's with the first coat. Went kind of heavy, but it's not dripping. So yeah. All right guys, so it's the next day. These should be all dried up. They look good. I didn't screw them up. Ouch. Well, I messed up a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like bubbling. I'm gonna throw these on the bike, guys, and uh, hopefully try to start it. A few moments later. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start the bike.
All right, guys, so you heard it. I'm gonna try to get a clip of the bike um, before I had the baffles on it so you could hear what it sounds like. <laughs> a lot louder than, than it is now because but I still gotta adjust the carbs and do some fine tuning and stuff I'm gonna end the video here I know I was I was trying to ride it but I still have to do a few other things like the seat um, I gotta tidy up a few things here and there um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one peace